my name is Max and I am 13 years old. I go in 7th grade and I play football. I play football two times Monday, two times Tuesday, two times Thursday and I play games in the weekend and I train Wednesday and Friday. <laughs> I'm hearing him speak like he, he does now, it's just, um, I wanted to say relief, um, actually there, yeah, it is big relief. Uh, <laughs> because in class, some class when we are doing a, 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 when it's my turn to read mm -hmm. something for the class it takes it, it takes longer time than for <laughs> for everybody else in the class. One from my kindergarten came to my mom and said that I should go to a speech therapist because I was stuttering and then my mom and dad took me to the speech therapist and I can't really remember anything except that we was sitting in a circle and we learned how to stutter. They told us that if we couldn't start, we should do something like stutter from the start. Mm, how old were you? I think I was eight or seven. And they taught you how to stutter? The moment I first remembered that I was stuttering was at my first presentation in front of the class. I was feeling like everybody laughed at me, but no one really did. It was just a feeling. The next thing was I had to school play be in, a school play be in a school play and i have i had five lines lines but i was stuttering on four of them so my teacher asked me if i would like to get rid of those four and i said yes so i only had one line to say and that was four words or something. That was the second blocker. First speech therapist, second your teacher, who allowed you not to speak. She took your work away from you. And who suffered from this? Me. Of course, you suffered. You didn't get the experience of speaking. That's how you learn that others can do four lines and you can do only one. You see that? I can't really remember when I talked like one to one that I started, but it was only the presentations for the class I remember because I was standing up there and I was not shy because I was friends with everyone, but I didn't like talking for everybody. So I stood like this and I didn't speak loud and clear. I just stood there and nearly whispered for the whole class. In fifth grade, once a week, I think I did go to a speech therapist that comes to my school and then I 
miss one class and talks with her instead of being to the class. Instead of speaking in the class, you were wasting your time blocking yourself even more with that speech therapist. Do you remember what she was doing with you? No, I only remember that I learned a sound. I can remember what the sound was for, but it was uh, uh, this sound. That's what you were doing when you came to me. Oh my and, God. And she also learned me. Uh, Taught you. Yeah. That I, in the start, could say something like, uh, to get started and or da, 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 to start a sentence. So she basically taught you how to stutter again. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? Speech therapist taught you to stutter twice. When you were in the kindergarten, then when you were in your school. Right? Yeah. Okay, how long did you do this stuttering lessons? For two months. Two months. Why did you stop? My parents didn't believe in it. Did you guys have to pay for this speech therapy, Vivi? I see you on the screen. No, actually, in, in Denmark, it's a free service, but we pay over the taxes. So. Of course, it's free. Yay. Enslavement <laughs> is free. They give you sweet poison. to make They only take sweet. half our salary. <laughs> yeah, that's also the case. And then we found a method that one guy did. That woman, like that. Oh, you saw the um, Jerry Maguire show. <laughs> oh the my Maguire. God, that's where the breathing is coming. Maguire, that's the biggest fraud, biggest I scam. I saw some videos on YouTube where they said breathing for two hours a day or something. Mm. <laughs> and that's why, of course, you still are struggling with this. For your entire life, they were telling you about breathing which has nothing to do with normal speech. So I have a question. When you found the Etalon program, what were your very first thoughts? My first thought was that it was logic and it was, it was natural and it wasn't anything other new way to stutter he was going to learn, he was going to we learned how to speak normal. So in, in the in the beginning, when I saw the, the, the ads, the, the videos, I was actually pretty skeptical because how can it be this easy? <clears throat> I found it upside down. Um, first of all, whenever you see an, an advertise, you think, oh, nothing can be like they describe. And then when I started to look a bit more into it, I found it upside down because everybody else is writing that or telling that <clears throat> actually you need to learn to stutter in another way. And you need to speak in another way. You need to breathe in another way. You need to do something almost mechanical. This way is it's more like you are stuttering because you are making mistakes. And that struck me because everybody else has been telling us that it's not a mistake, it's a natural. You just have to learn to control your stutter in some other way. Uh, once a stutter, always a stutter, you, you can learn to stutter in another way. Actually, that was what the speech therapist also told Manus. And the first time in this uh, program here, you stopped Manus and you asked him, why are you doing this? Why are you making this mistake? Why do you choose to make this mistake? He was in this mode like, but I'm stuttering because I am a stutterer. And then after some hours, he just found out that no, I can actually correct my mistakes. And that that, that is upside down for me compared to everything else I saw. Actually, after the first day, I was still very skeptical in some way. 
But uh, after yesterday and today, I, I, I wasn't sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> In some way, I feel obligated to, to tell people that it's just more easy than, than you we've think. been told. Yeah. So. We are told that there's nothing to do other than learn to stutter even more, or just in another way, or completely shut up. We are, no one told us that it was just because he had some mistakes, which I is guess. very natural when you learn how to speak. But they didn't tell us, and we didn't know that we should have taught him how to do it normal, and then practice, and Actually, just like everything else. What we did these last three days is, when you look at it now, it's actually very simple and logical. So I don't understand how it can be so complicated. complicated. Yeah. Big lie. It's a big lie. That's a good statement. Actually, up until the first day here with you, Magnus actually never did speak any English. He has been reading English, he's been listening to movies, but he actually he never spoke English before. I heard him reading a little bit, but I never heard him speak English before. So, just isolated, that, that is very impressive also. and. What he did uh, these three days with actually a limited vocabulary. It's, uh, we're so excited about also the Danish now because he's got a, an even bigger uh, vocabulary there. So, yeah. <laughs> I am very grateful that we found you and found out that there was something that we could do with the stuttering and it was so simple still a lot of work but simple in a way that's rational and it's easy to understand how to work with the things it has been very very interesting and exciting to see what can be done with very simple um, tools. Logical tools. Logical tools. As I said, started out very skeptical because how could such a big problem be solved in such a short time? But now I can't even imagine why everybody in the world doesn't know this because it's logical. That is actually what scares me the most. Why people don't embrace it. And what we experienced from kindergarten and all the way up until now, how the system tries to keep you as a sick person, just trying to teach you to speak in another way that they find a little easier to listen to. I don't know. but. Instead of just teaching how to speak normal, natural. I want to thank you guys for being a great team. Because it takes a team to help a child. Okay? Thank you. And Max, welcome to the world of normal people. Free to express themselves to say anything you want and to do everything you want in your life. Bye. 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 Thank you.